Presidents of Ogbomosho in Oyo State are urging both the federal and state governments to undertake the dualization of a crucial trunk A road within the city. This plea comes in response to the escalating frequency of road accidents on the current single carriageway, with recent incidents resulting in the loss of 18 lives and numerous severe injuries within a week. The affected road, spanning approximately 7 to 8 kilometers, connects Ogbomosho with cities in both the southern and northern regions of the country, encompassing key areas such as Agric, Orenkinkin High School, Keteko, Teki, Sabo and Aroj. Among the tragic casualties were three traditional rulers from Oriaya local government area, the Oladogbo of Odogbo, Onoboyala of Bola, and Ale Toro of Aitoro, en route to a funeral event. Further tragedies unfolded in different sections of the road, including fatalities among motorcyclists, a devastating petrol tanker accident at Sekona village resulting in nine fatalities, and a trailer mishap at the Sekoni Hill causing the death of a commercial motorcyclist. The residents' collective grief and concern for the safety of commuters have spurred calls for urgent action. They are not only advocating for the dualization of the road but also requesting the construction of flyover bridges at strategic locations like Teki Square and Keteka Junction. Expressing their distress, Mr. Iduwu Ashifa emphasized the necessity for Governor Shoi Mekindi intervention, stating, I appeal to Governor Shoi Mekindi to come to our aid by dualizing this road from Agric Farm Settlement Scheme to Aroj or Igbo. Only yesterday three traditional rulers died on the road. If the road is dualized, head-on collisions will reduce. Michael Adigbosin echoed the sentiment, proposing the conversion of the road into a dual carriageway to minimize head-on collisions and enhance maneuverability during emergencies. He also urged the return of the road to the Oyo state government for easier maintenance upon completion of the federal government's dual carriageway project linking Ibodon to Ilorin via Oyo and Abomoso. An anonymous resident called for the construction of flyovers at accident-prone spots like Teki, underscoring the potential preventive impact. The resident recalled Governor making the promise to build a flyover at Ogun Lola Hall during his first tenure and urged the fulfillment of this commitment in his second term. The plea extended to include the construction of an overhead bridge at Keteka Junction for enhanced safety.